Hey everybody! <laughs> Hi! I know you guys don't see me much on this channel. I am trying to get things together. Let me turn this down real quick. I am trying to deal with so many other things that I'm working on and I'm not good at this at uh what is that called allocating you know prioritizing I'm not good at it <laughs> my priority is to get much sleep anyway if you notice my gap is getting smaller and my teeth are getting brighter because I've been wearing my candid Invisaligns the liners that are clear and it has brightening solution that goes with it so wow i really see my gap closing my gap is like so much more than it looks now anyway that's not why i came on here but shout outs to candid bright visalign liners <laughs> um um, I, I came on to, as I've said several times before in my other um, videos to you guys, I'm not very um, organized with these videos. I don't know what to say. I know what I want to say, but a lot of times I veer off. So right now, I want to show you my living space. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to me. Um, but to many, it's probably a blessing because there are some people out there without a roof over their head for four, for like maybe four years ago, I was in that situation. I actually lived a year on the F train in New York and in a shelter. And it was, let me tell you something. It was not easy. Um, I did it. I, I survived it. I'm very capable of going through it if I have to. But you really don't want to be going through it, and especially with the COVID thing out here, and while it's cold. So I am blessed. I am beyond blessed. I am very thankful for this little room. <laughs> okay, this is a three-bedroom house here. We have an upstairs and a downstairs, but I share with two other roommates. And you never know what you're going to get. Now, as I've said before in my other videos. Um, we all suffer with some type of disability, whether it's physically, mentally, whatever, you know. Um, some of us have both. I have both physical and mental disability. Um, my roommates, obviously one of them suffers really, really bad because she is like, oh, let me not talk about it. Um, but let's just say the other me and my other roommate that do get along feel like prisoners in our own home because of this one other person like we avoid her like covid <laughs> what does i say she bitches she growls at you she slam doors she'll tell you not to be in the same area that she's in when she's there and I'm looking at her like, bitch, okay, I know you ain't talking to me because I guess all they be carrying my ass out of here, okay? The men in the white suits, mm-hmm. But anyway, <laughs> I just want you guys to see what I'm left with. So because I don't get around to the other parts of the house, um, I do go down and cook in the morning sometime because I'm not, you know, of any threat or anything, but I do stand my ground. I will assert myself and let you know you've gone too far. Now back the up off of me because you don't want this PTSD to start kicking in or the bipolar. I don't know which is worse. Okay. You better ask some of my other victims. <laughs> so anyway, I just got back from the gym. I got undressed. This is my small area. Here is my luxury bed. And I glammed it up with my little lamp posts and stuff. And actually, this is like where I pray. So I have, I had a picture, which I will have a picture. I think I'm going to take that picture and put it in there of my children. 
inside there and there's candles on the side i light and i pray um this is my luxury bed area this is my <laughs> what can i say this is my my desktop my lab desktop and like junk drawer station where i keep everything because i love to roll over and just go into my little bins this here is a closet that I got, like an origami Chinese closet. I got this closet because I love to work on bath bombs and shea butters and stuff. And I have so much material. So all that stuff is inside of here. So that it doesn't make the room look cluttered with stuff everywhere. I It also doubles up as I do photography. I do my own photos, as I told you guys. So like I have this... Um, soft lamp here i have a few other lamps around um but i can't possibly put them all up back over here hidden behind that curtain there is my little foot refrigerator and a microwave see i could do van life living real easy like i already got it kind of kicking you know what i'm saying um behind here is where I keep all the things that I don't want people to see. Like, they just try and keep it look a little neat. Yes, that's me. My bath bombs and stuff. Um, my banner that goes when I go out vending and stuff. I have a little closet. Right now, you see all this stuff hanging off of it, which I normally try to not have that going on. But I have a little closet. Inside my closet, most of my clothes and stuff, my winter coats. It's a very little closet. I have my makeup desk, which is a mess. And it stays this way because I'm constantly leaving, traveling, headed back and forth to D.C. or Vegas or Florida or somewhere. Um because when I can get a gig to do a little modeling or help someone out in the family, I try and get there and do that. That's my love right there. My one and only, my daughter. Love her. Um, but this is the other side of the makeup room. Toilet paper. Anybody spot the toilet paper? <laughs> um, and yeah, my little dresser is stuck there. So pretty much you've got the range of what I deal with. So, by me showing you that embarrassing thing, I wanted to say I am working so hard at saving up. Oh, I even did me a GoFundMe account because I don't know when they're going to come through with me a place to live, a permanent place to live. Right now, I'm good here. They cannot, you know, put me out in the cold or anything like that. Um... As long as I pay my rent. Um, I hate that that is like most of my SSI. I have very little to live off of after that. Ergo, me doing the little extra side hustles and stuff. Selling bath bombs and things. Which I find is fun to do also. I just don't have the space. Like I would love to have a kitchen to do my things in. Um, I would love to have a kitchen just to go and cook in and feel comfortable and not feel threatened. Um, so I kind of was getting depressed about this whole situation to to the point of frustration to like screaming to the top of my lungs and getting ready to tear up things. And it dawned on me, you know, you are blessed. You have a roof over your head. It's nice and warm in here. Um, there are people that you were just homeless. So think about it. You you can wait. You've waited so many other years for so many other things. Like I think I waited 11, 15 years before I even got my SSI. And I struggled through that, not being able to walk or anything. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I made it through that. I made it through being homeless. Um so I can hang in here with a roof over my head at least and microwave me some food. You know, I can make I can I can make this work. And then I said to myself, you know, look at it as experimenting on how much, you know, what can you do with such a small space? Because if you're planning on doing a, a van life living, even when I get my people when listen now, I still want my permanent housing. When I get my permanent housing. 
that would be my home base. But it does not say that I cannot get a vehicle and go traveling. And that's what I want to do. I want to get a van and I want to go spend time in my van with my therapy puppy. Yeah, I want a therapy puppy. And and travel this great U.S. of A. And see things before this whole thing goes up in flame. You know what I'm saying? Uh, plus, I love watching. Like I'm watching Cruise right now. See, God, that's Cruise and Chrome. And Van Life Living. I love that show. I watch it all the time. And um, and Antoinette, I believe. I love her too. But anyway, yeah. So this is my little slice of heaven. And um, this is what I live with daily. Um, I sometimes get frustrated because there's so much in here. But I, I have to remind myself, I am such a character. Like I am, I I'm a model, so I have clothes. I you know I I'm a creator, so I have stuff to create with. I'm an artist. So I have my artistry. You know, everything that I have that I own in the world is in this room right now. Um, I am going to downsize um, eventually. I know that I will have to unless I get my apartment. Now, if I get my permanent apartment, honey, all this is going with me because then I can put kitchen stuff in the kitchen. What? The day that happens, I'll be like, Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to church every Sunday. <laughs> if I'm not in my van. <laughs> Fishing somewhere. <laughs> the Lord knows me. But yeah, people, um, I'm I'm thankful for the roof I have over my head. But if there's anyone out there that could possibly help me, that could possibly donate towards me having a a uh you know money towards my van life living whichever comes first you know of places that are providing a living you know where i can go and live permanent living permanent oh living solution i don't know why this is burning like this but oh it's killing me oh cut it off yeah, the incense really needs to. I don't know if it's going to stop. Ooh, I don't think it's going to stop. I have an incense burning and it is burning. Like, stop already. Enough with you. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Yeah, so if anyone could help me or give me some resources on exactly how to get into some other permanent housing here in New York um, faster, that takes SSI. Um Whatever you got, you know, to bless me with, I appreciate it, okay? Anyway, well, that was for now. Um, if you're some of my family members or friends of my family, um, hope you all understand. I am living my life and you guys are living yours. And I'm dealing with and doing what I feel is appropriate for me right now. Um, you know, we, are, we each have to deal with things in our own way. And I'm not depressed or down or anything. I am just stating the facts here. Um, I need for and I want for things to brighten in my life. Um, not that I'm not, you know, living a pretty good life now. You know what I mean? But to have my own would feel so much better. Like to have, just to have my own house, my own space for once in my lifetime would feel so great. 
Um, and to be able to have my grandchildren over and cook for them and not have roommates that I got to deal with that don't clean kitchens and, you know, all the stuff that grandma, that mama, that I do in my household, my clean, you can eat off the floor household. Mm, I can't wait for that day, okay? Yes. You want to stop by and get a plate? You're more than welcome, okay? Because you know I'm going to put that culinary art uh, certificate a degree to work, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'm wishing and, and praying for you guys peace and safety out there. And uh, take care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you next video. I'm going to get ready to eat me something. I need something I just got from the gym. Ooh, yesterday I went to the massage masseuse. Ooh, it was so good. But I feel a little tinge in the back of my neck again. Oh, let me get me something to eat and lay down here. All right. Love you guys. Bye.